up everyone going to start a new hole today so the old one over there is filled in that one's filled in but tunnel under here somewhere i don't know how far i got exactly or how far the other guy got but i'm thinking right here might be a good area but there's some trees around um well under trees is usually good anyway but still uh, some of them like this one here just makes me a little nervous because of all that lean i mean this is straight up so you can see how much it's leaning up that way so i want to try to be careful here so i think i'm going to dig right here i scraped all this stuff there and i'm going to try to dig between these roots there's a big root there i'm going to try to avoid it there's one here that's a little bit smaller but i'll still try to avoid it so yeah i'll let you know if i find anything it'll be a while before i get to the bottles hopefully i can start hitting some today probably getting close to noon now so I don't know see how far I can get in seven hours all right so the first step of uh, getting down to the balls is busting through the top layer which I did it's really thin but it has tons of roots and then next I use a spud bar here to Just kind of scrape out this gravel stuff and loosen it up because it's packed in there tightly. I just got done doing it. That's why it's loose like it is now. All right, so this hole has turned into a nightmare. I'm having to chip out that hard asphalt there, and it's everywhere, even there. It's just right under the surface of uh, this brown dirt here. Over on this side's more clay, but then there's this heavy or not heavy, but it's metal stuff. It stretches way in there, so having a hard time getting around that. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what I'm dealing with exactly. See how well this works. And I'm more out. You know, I'm sweating like crazy. Yeah, both holes here and there. Uh, well, not here, but the holes there and there, because there's two holes there. None of them have this hard asphalt stuff. But anyway, I showed you this because a lot of people see my videos and it doesn't show how much labor goes in the getting these bottles uh, they think I'm just pulling them out left and right because that's what I show in the video but in reality so much work goes into it and that's part of the reason why when I get a really good bottle or a hard to get bottle like let's say that uh, streaked Mason's patent and that Augusta Kentucky druggist I'm not going to take some cheap price for them because those are all the best bottles of the dig. And I don't feel like doing this much work for <clears throat> some uh, just tiny amount, which I'm not all in this for the money, but uh, I can't collect everything. So if I do get something good that I could get a decent amount for that wouldn't fit in my collection, then of course I'm going to take something decent out of it because all the work that I put into getting that people are like, oh, well, it costs nothing to dig. It's free. Well, no, 
if you do this kind of work for a real job, I'm sure you'd be getting paid like 30 or 40 an hour. So actually I'm working for less than what a real job would pay. Because the only people I can think of that would do work like this, because this is hard labor here. This isn't no easy work where all you do is stand on your feet all day because really a lot of these fast food places and warehouses, uh, that's the hardest work you do there really. I mean, that's the hardest thing about it. I've worked in warehouses before and being on your feet 10 to 12 hours is the hardest thing about it really. Now whacking an asphalt with a heavy spud bar is a lot more work than that. It also hurts your back a lot. I'm not complaining, I'm just stating how it is digging all these bottles. So yeah, that's a little bit of background info of what goes on behind the scenes here. Another day. So that's about as far as I made on this one. Uh, but the reason for that is because one of my other digging buddies decided to come up. And he had a hole going too. It wasn't any bigger or deeper than that. And we both worked together and got this one this deep. So I guess I'm going to film this hole today. Just continue working on this one. Uh, there's actually a layer already under that gravel there, so uh, it might produce something or it might not. Nothing's came out of it yet, but uh, it definitely looks like something could be in there. I mean, you can't tell from here because it's gravel, but you'll see. I'll let you know what I find. First bottle. It's a slick, but it's a bottle. Came out under the stupid metal piece. That's giving me a hard time. This thing here. I don't know what this is, but it's hard. It's it's something really hard, and I'm having trouble getting it out. Got something showing here. It's a med or flask med. Slick med. Okay, I got med here or a drugist, I mean. Let's see if it's embossed. No, it's not. But that's what I expected. Alright, I got a ink here, I think. First embossed bottle of the day. It is machine made, though. Oh, it's one of these wide mouth ones. Carter's made in USA. Oh, it's a screw cap. Yeah, that's not a good sign. I mean, it's an early one, but still. That means that if I were to find a soda or beer, it would likely be a crown top instead of a blob. Just kind of hoping for an older hole but um yeah that's how it goes sometimes all right got a bottle here and it's really hard to dig here because there's some type of pipe or something there i don't want to disturb that so i'm going to avoid digging there um so that's going to make this an awkward hole to dig Anyway, so I'll dig this out for you, see if it's anything. There's a bunch of this black tar stuff here, and underneath it's bottles. It's might be easier just doing this and breaking it up. Anyway, what is this one? Slick on that side and slick on the other. All right, I do have some good news. Underneath the tar is a much better layer. It is, it's packed with glass. Of course, most stuff's been broken, but I barely busted into it, so I'm sure there's some good stuff in here. Anyway, here's a druggist. It's a slick one, of course, but I'm sure I'll get we'll get something good, or I'll get something good to show today. So, yeah, you'll see something soon, I'm sure. All right, so here's a amber bottle of some kind. Let's 
see, or never mind, maybe it's not. Or is it? No, it's a... Oh, it's a Rumfords. All right. Nice. I haven't found one of these in a while. Yeah, these are nice bottles. I mean, look at that color. And it looks like it'll clean up, too. It looks like I chipped it on the side a little bit right there, though. But, I mean, that ain't going to hurt us so small. All right. Finally got a good keeper. I mean, they're not rare or anything, but they're just a nice bottle to dig. I guess they're semi-common is what I would call them. Okay, got another ball showing here. Medicine. Which one is it? Is it amber? Just got stuff in it. Oh, it looks amber. Oh, this is one of these. <laughs> I haven't found one of these in a long time. Foley's kidney and bladder cure. Heck yeah. Well, the Rumpers was chipped, so this is now my best bottle. And when I say chip, there was a lip chip that I didn't show because I didn't know it existed until I looked closer. Yeah, this is a nice one here. Don't see too many of them. Partial label. Well, I mean, it's mostly there, but it has some holes in it. Not bad. So looking at this again, it looks perfect, right? Lips all there. Labels there, but look at that. I cannot believe that. That kind of aggravates me for real that something like this has that condition issue. Didn't even see it. But I'll still bring it. I mean, it'll display nice. Um, I'm sure I could get something for it as is. But yeah, it's a huge disappointment right there. Every decent bottle I've found so far today has been damaged um, and not something small either decent sized chips all right okay got a cylinder here <clears throat> oh it's a little sample whiskey whoa I can't believe this it's actually a sample shower whiskey from Dayton I've never even seen one. I've seen the sample hangers, but I've never seen a shower whiskey bottle in a sample size. That's crazy. Well, that makes today a good day. No damage here. It does have... Or does it? Nope, no damage. Awesome. Got a bottle for the collection. Makes it a good day. It's kind of dark down here, but it's getting later. Um, my digging buddy Jeff left. Um, yeah, he left right before I found that sample whiskey, which is two bags. That would have been a cool one to see. Anyway, I got something here showing. What is this? Oh, it's broken. Don't say anything. And I got another thing. This looks like it's a beer base. So there's still there's something else above it hard. There's just so many hard things in these layers. It's unreal. It's pretty old. Whatever it is. I'd say it's a blob top, but I don't know if it's an embossed one or just a slick. Of course, there's a brick there. Oh, it's broken. Dang it. Oh, man. What, what was that? Hmm. 
never seen that ball bus from London. Um, now I'm sure there's some good bottles from there, but I'm looking for local bottles in particular, rare local bottles like that sample whiskey I just dug. So I'm not too upset about losing this one. International shipping is just so expensive anyway that if someone from that area would have wanted it because it was rare in even that area, it would have probably cost <clears throat> more to ship it than it's worth or at least where it's, uh, it's worth very little because of the shipping. Might actually have an electric bitters here. Or a slick bitters. It's got the shape of an well, I don't know the top's kind of square. Hostutters on maybe. Yeah, it's too big. It's a hostutters or slick. It's a slick one. Oh man. I was hoping that'd be an embossed. It's tooled. It's just not old enough, I don't think. Well, that's the first large bottle, so I'm hoping that there's a uh, blob beer somewhere in there. Oh, yes, the sun's coming out. That's so good because it was so dark down here when it's all clouded up. Well, I can't believe this. <clears throat> I was caving stuff in, and then I just noticed this. A hutch sticking out right there. All right, so I'm not sure which one it is. I'm curious, but it's a mug base, and it's probably a big K, Clee, Dayton, Ohio. If it's straight side, then hmm, that'd be a tough one. Gotta say secrets, maybe. I know it's not a Decker, because it's not Panos. It's a rare Decker variant. Let's find out. It's straight side, uh-oh. It's gonna be something better. It's the secrets. All right, well, I haven't dug one of those in a long time. I mean, that's the most common of a straight side you'll find here. But, yeah, it came out. All right. Been a while since I found one. There it is. I found tons of the crown tops, but I haven't found the hutch in a long time. I'm talking years. All right, I got something showing here. It's round. Probably a Horlix malted milk or something. A sample one. Don't know for sure though. Yep, that's what it is. I was right. It's too far away from it to see the suction mark. But, yep, that's what it is. All right, I got something showing here. What is that? Oh, it's broken. I should have tested it before I actually went to trouble going back in here and filming. Oh, what was it? Oh, a green wine piece of junk thing anyway. Okay, I got something showing here. It's aqua. Well, if that means anything or not. Kind of beer shaped. Try to look at the base marking though. It has something on the base, which is not a good sign. You've got to be kidding me. It's one of those stupid things. I should have known. That's why I said it's not a good sign. I mean, the if there's letters going straight across like SB and G Company then that's a great sign, but if it's going in a circle, then it's one of these things. What's up, everyone? So I 
It's tied to come back here and fill the hole in, and, or at least a chunk of it in. I saw some mushrooms. I've been keeping an eye on these for a little bit now. These are half free morels. I actually found these last year. I was in this particular area. But there's much less this year. I mean, that's all I see here. Um, but it work, or uh, not work, walk a little bit further. And then actually found some others that I didn't know about. Where were they at? I just left them because I'm going to come back to them after I fill the hole in that way they're fresh when I eat them. But yeah, you'll have to see these. These are really nice looking. Those are good sized right there. I mean, this one's like the size of a pop can. Really, I think the biggest one I found so far this year is the smallest of this bunch. This is a nice patch right here. What's up everyone? Just now got around and got my thorns cleaned up. So this one was from the other hole and it was left because it had a couple bruises there. So I'm probably going to throw this in a lot of taco out of Dayton, machine made. It's around 1915. Oakland Chemical Company, tooled. Brown Seltzer. Dr. D. Jane's Expectorant. Dr. Kilmer Swampert Kidney here in Hampton. Carter's Inc. Rumford Chemical Works. Wheeler and Wilson Manufacturing Company. I've never seen that one. I guess it's a sewing machine oil or something. And a larger crane, or actually Royal Remedy Extract Company out of Dayton. And next is this Foley's Kidney Bladder Cure. Cleaned up nicely, but it does have uh, that as an issue. Too bad it even has a label on the back. Here's a late throw. It's a looks like at least pre-1895. It's a sorry pains. Or pain celery compound. And I found these before, but never in this style. Has a ring around the neck and another little niche right there. Higgins Anesthetic, Dr. F.A. Higgins, Bellevue, Ohio. And that one happens to have a little hole in it right there. Couldn't believe it. And this was actually in the loose pile, so when I was starting to fill the hole and I found it. That's why sometimes filling it in can pay off. Throw out some goodies sometimes and you don't even know it. And got one hutch, which is pretty nice. It's got to say cigarettes out of Dayton. Looks to be in perfect shape. First one I've dug in years. And then there's this very good bottle here, I think. Shower Trademark Dayton, Ohio. It's a sample whiskey, and of course it had to be cracked up there. But I still think I could get something decent out of it because I've never seen another, so 
I don't know if there's more out there or not. I'm sure there is somewhere, but I haven't seen any. So, yeah, it's a little bit sparser, but did get this. So, that's one bottle I've never seen before, and it's local, so kind of made it pay off.